Good morning, my name is Derek Carrollwood. Today is Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. We are at Hamilton Heights Middle School. This is the monthly update, volume number 65. Five things you need to know about Hamilton Heights School Corporation. Behind me right now, we have seventh and eighth graders that are using our brand new hot rod climbing wall. Mrs. Matthews got them all set up. She's gone through tons of training. Mr. Murphy's gone through tons of training. Ms. Bishop's gone through tons of training. These guys have all gone through safety training and this is part of our PE curriculum. So these guys are climbing up there. That's the first thing you need to know. Number one, we're doing awesome stuff at Hamilton Heights Middle School and these guys are getting to experience some really cool things with our new climbing wall. Number two, congratulations to Sydney Massacott. She was selected as a recipient of distinction for the NCWIT Indiana Affiliate Award for Aspirations in Computing. So she's a crazy good student, crazy good at computing. She's also a member of our BPA. She won uh, in the state of Indiana uh, the Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics Competition. She's going to IU, which will make Mrs. Matthew happy. She's going to IU. She's been accepted already into the Luddy School of Informatics and Computing next year. She's an amazing kid. Our BPA program here, led by Julie Oschlager at the high school and Jenny Sexton at the middle school, they do great things. They actually had a ton of kids qualify for nationals this year, which is supposed to be in Orlando. It's going to be virtual, but our high school kids are going to go ahead and, and do the national competition. They're going to go to Indianapolis and stay at a hotel and do all the national competitions from that hotel. So they'll still get a similar experience, but those kids have been able to go to, um, not last year, but the previous years, to Boston, to Orlando, to Austin, Texas, to California for these national competitions. So great job, Sydney. Great job, our BPA kids. Congratulations on your continued success. Number three, we partner with the Hamlin County Health Department in Hamlin County to promote wellness and safety, but also how we're handling uh, dealing with the COVID uh, and COVID-19. So Tammy Sander, who does public relations for Hamlin County, recently interviewed Kim Kaiser, Rodney Freeman, who is the master behind the camera and doing all the stuff that he's going to climb the wall later. He is going to post the video or a link to the video of um, Tammy Sander interviewing Kim Kaiser about our career education program. And Kim talks a little bit about how that's been, Mrs. Kaiser talks about how that's been impacted by COVID, but still the really cool stuff we're doing with, with hospitals and, and nursing homes and in education and, and uh, at Reynolds Farm Equipment and different places that we're partnering with to get our kids interim experiences so they know what they want to do when they get out of high school or at least have experiences doing those things here while they're at Hamilton High School Corporation. So great job, Mrs. Kaiser, for that interview. And thanks, Tammy Sanders, for your partnership. Number four, we're at the middle school for the first time in my history and the first time, I think, in um, a really long time. Our Hamilton Heights middle school wrestlers won the county wrestling meet. This is a big deal. Um, six out of 11 of our um, uh, rest, or all 19 wrestlers placed in the top six out of 11 teams in the county. We had one kid that won uh, the entire county. Kendall Flanders uh, placed first, but we had tons of second places. Great job. This is historic. Hamilton County is uh, kind of the hotbed for interscholastic uh, wrestling, and our kids did a really good job. Our high school team uh, just qualified for a statewide tournament at the beginning of next year, which is a really big deal. Almost could have, would have, should have won the sectional this year at the high school level. So great job for our wrestling program. They're doing really good stuff. I don't often talk about sports, but these kids also do really well in class. And finally, number five, uh, number four, uh, I want to remind you about what we just recently got done doing. We just recently had our play in the spring. It was the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. And one of our climbers back here was actually part of the play. And her family, her sister, was the Evil Witch. And she was kind of scary. The Stefan family is great actors. And uh, they did a really nice job. Uh, Mrs. Myers did a really nice job leading that program. Great show. We're still trying to get things done here during COVID, and so they had a pretty good crowd that was socially distanced, and the kids did an absolutely awesome job. So really proud uh, of, the, of the work that they did. So I think that is probably four or five things that you need to know about Hampton High School Corporation. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Nobody fell, nobody said bad words.